What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very, very, very special episode of Not A Podcast. I'm not going to lie. I thought you hit us with the hype talk. I Try was, new things out for the podcast intro. I was going to say, Johnny's not here, man. You back from the wild? I'm back from the wild. The weasel's a, back. You put a weasel in the wild, he going to run. Hey, don't put a weasel in the wild. You put a weasel in the wild, he going to run. Yeah, I seen that little uh, IG page they made of us. Naruto? Naruto? Yeah, the Naruto shout, run? Shout out to those fans, man. But, yes, you know, sir. Shout out to uh, uh, Richie Out of Context page. Yeah. You know, Someone that made like cool an page. IG page of like the funny moments on our uh, That's cool. on our YouTube channel. Yeah. It's kind of cool. All right, so today we are going to be going over the best jackets for the fall and winter. It's that time. It's, it's getting is. chilly. It's getting cold. It's getting chilly. I've been waking up with <laughs> some tissue next to me, some used tissue next to me, man. Yeah. All it's right. that time, man. And we also made sure, you know, all these uh, jackets you could get right now in the mall. You know, we're not just, uh, you know, uh, recommending jackets that are from like five years ago or whatnot. You know, that's why these videos are helpful. That's why they hit, yes. you know, because it's obtainable. Yeah. It's so obtainable. all of them are available. We'll leave links down in the description box below. Yes, sir. Let's get into the first jacket. All right, so this first jacket, man, this one is crazy. Crazy. From the colors that they come out with, okay. the price. Um, let me just show you. Okay, okay. We got the 1990 North Face Mountain jacket wow. right here. Wow. Okay, okay. Obviously, you have like, the When I'm saying colors, vibes. man, the colors that they released, you know, look at this green. Yeah. It's a nice little Kelly Forest green. Ooh, you know. Kelly, you said Kelly. You're Kelly. Like Kelly Kapowski? Why is it Kelly green? Let's just say it's hot. Right off the bat, I'm searching for a Supreme logo. That's what I'm... <laughs> okay, so this jacket right here is a great cheaper alternative to the North Face Supreme wow. jackets that they do release because this is the same exact color blocking and design, the 1990 mountain jacket, but they now retro them so you can just get them as regular jackets. For sure. This is going to be a very, very good cheaper alternative to something that Supreme would do. Obviously, you know, really more, obviously it's more subtle. Yeah. It's not going to have the crazy prints and everything, mm -hmm. but the shape, the colorway, and like the whole fit just, yeah. just goes. So we got this, uh, you called it Kelly Green. Kelly, Kelly Green. Green. They I'm also got Green. like a uh, red color. They got a uh, blue. purple, blue. blue. There's a lot of good colors that come out in this jacket right here. I would say just super functional. Yeah. North Face, I feel like it's just one of those brands that has stood the test of time. Oh, for sure. Classic, classic jacket. And I feel like this is going to last a long time. Yes, sir. You know, five, ten years from now, it's still going to be very durable. It's still going to be a classic you know, in style. North Face yeah. is known for quality, I'll tell you that. For sure, for sure. So this one right here, it does run slightly big. Okay. I have a size medium, and I could probably wear a uh, hoodie underneath and whatnot. For sure. Um, I might do a small in it. You would probably be a solid medium in yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I would buy this jacket because it has the streetwear vibe to it. Yes, for sure. It's not just like a, a jacket that you're going like snowboarding with. Yeah, you yeah. You can rock yeah. this jacket point, on a daily. Especially because of the colors. So this jacket right here, the 1990 Mountain Jacket, you could get this at the North Face store. Um, also, Nordstrom is selling them as yeah. well. It's not too thick. You know, it's still comfortable. So make sure you guys consider the 1990 Mountain Jacket. For sure. All right, so this next jacket, man, from Top Man, 100 bucks. I really like this one because you could dress it up. You know, do your hair, you know, wear it on a date and whatnot. And mm -hmm. then you could also dress it down, you dress know, rock it fitted. Probably could rock it with what I'm wearing right now. Okay, okay. So oh. we got the uh, Top Man nice. Workman jacket right here. Kind of like this, uh, what would you call this material? I was going to say, uh, it has like a rough, kind of like a duffel bag ripstop material. Duffel bag What ripstop. I like about it is you said that you could dress it down. Mm -hmm. I feel like if this jacket gets like distressing on it, kind of like a mechanical Ooh, jacket, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. It's kind of like an old school vintage Carhartt jacket. I can see that. I can, oh, the Carhartt vibe. That's why it's called the Workman's jacket. You exactly. do want a little bit more like wear and tear maybe. For you don't sure. want it like super perfect. You're yeah, saying. no, for sure. And mm -hmm. then in one video, I saw a, uh, I saw a APC version. You know, like higher end uh, designer I brand. I saw that video. Now we're in Nordstrom, and this uh, APC jacket is six hundred and forty five dollars. Five hundred bucks. It was like identical. Identical. Like one. It was stalled down. <laughs> it was crazy. Yeah, like you were saying, it was like fifteen feet away. I was yeah. like. Who the hell gonna buy this when this is 15 feet away? That's what like, I'm saying. Whoever so, yeah. was doing the floor plan at Nordstrom, it was a little too close. Hey, <laughs> fire that man. Fire, fire, fire them, man. Fire him. Because it was pretty close. And I, I think you compared the details too, and it's yeah. pretty identical. So 100 bucks right here, top man. Really cool jacket. Dress it up, dress it down. I really recommend it. I like the fit of it and whatnot. Make sure you guys check it out. For sure. All right, so moving right along, man. We got a jacket from uh, Uniqlo. Ooh, you, you can't mention a list without Uniqlo, man. $130 for down feather. Whoa, down feather. Down feather. Down we feather. We cut this 
gonna look quack, like quack, quack quacks around I here. I was you gonna know? say quack, quacks. I was gonna say down when it comes to down it can be very expensive. For sure. It, it, it's almost like it's the warmer it gets, the more expensive mm. it gets. So for one hundred thirty dollars. Speaking of that, man, <laughs> uh, you know, like uh, uh, Canada Goose, they put a lot of feathers in their jacket. The prices are bananas, like look, in the thousands. I was gonna say, look, Canada Goose, unless you're going to Antarctica. <laughs> There's no point exactly. of rocking it, okay? Exactly. You're going to be swagging and sweating. Exactly. So this one right here, man, the first thing that I really noticed, actually, there's a couple things. The color is the, crazy I nice. I was going to say, you're going to mention olive. The right. Olive. It's a perfect it's olive. Right, olive right here. It got like a two-tone uh, inside oh, right nice here. Nice little copper down uh, fabric inside. But the uh, comfort. Are you feeling this, man? I was going to say. The comfort of this jacket. Like, when I when I tried on a Canada Goose, yeah. it almost felt like two, like, Utility functional like like you're gonna get it's too functional crazy hot in a Canada goose This uh, one you could actually wear around for you know, sure like, not sweat all crazy. That's a good point One thing I'd mention though is that the down jacket is not too poofy mm -hmm. Sometimes for like a small kind of a skinnier guys a down oh. jacket could look too Overwhelming overwhelming. Yeah, I this see is a nice little flat look. Yes, sir All right, so this one comes out in a couple colors. I think there was like a black I think there was a navy as well Make sure you guys consider this. It is slightly yes. elongated. Um, they also have a couple other versions of down jackets as well. Mm -hmm. If you don't want anything elongated, it's swaggy though. Yeah, you it don't need dope. no branding when it comes to a jacket like yeah. this. All right, so moving right along, man. This is a fire list of. So I was gonna say I'm really enjoying this video so far, but in the corner of my eye, I see the next yes, jacket. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fire. This fire. jacket right here. It might single-handedly put Stone Island out of business. You haven't said a lot of heavy statements lately. This right here, heavy. Well, maybe not put heavy. Stone Island out of business, but you know, doing Stone good Island jackets are like $1,000. This one right now is on sale for $179. Crazy. A great alternative to their garment dyed program, yeah. the Stone Island garment dyed True. program. So we got a Nike sportswear jacket right here. Yo. Are you seeing the Stone Island vibes? Look, Stone Island's known Stone for- Stone Island vibes, though. Yeah, they're known for- Vibes like their, of <laughs> Hey, you, you're getting good at that. Vibes like of Tingsa. I am. You're getting good at that. But going off of what Richie was saying earlier, man, Stone Island, they're very particular with their fabric. Yes, sir. And their colors and their whole process. You gotta look like <laughs> look at the details onto that. Like, I don't even know what to call this. Like, It's a crinkle cut <laughs> nylon, I believe. I'm a, no, no, no. The man no. makes crinkle cut crinkle, nylon. Crinkle cut is fries. My bad. A crinkle nylon. Crinkle cut. <laughs> oh, crinkle cut. I, I, thought, had, I, I, I thought you. I thought you had the right thing too. I had Shake Shack earlier. Oh, really? So I thought crinkle hey, cut those fries. fries are fire. Though. But, With no. the cheese or no cheese? With the cheese, bro. Oh, Come on, the man. White, Cause they got the white cheese. The, the cheese, bro. But uh, but my bad. I meant the crinkle nylon, mm -hmm. which is basically. A uh, imperfection type of a uh, you can tell. That's it a look good perfect. way. Put, that's a perfect way of putting it, imperfected. Imperfected. Like, it is not like look. super smooth and perfect. I no. think that's what gives it more of like a dressier lifestyle, you exactly. know, uh, feel to it. And then I also like like the minimal branding of Nike. Yes. Or the placement of Nike. And the placement. I it's was gonna say. Not right on the chest. This is the back of the jacket. Obviously has it on the oh, sleeve. Really? Oh, and right, right here. here in the corner. Right here in the back. Yes, sir. I like it. So uh, there's uh, three colors that these uh, come out in. Uh, there's like a uh, orangish tangerine. Yep. And then there's like more of like a gunmetal gray. This one I would say is like the nicest or closest to Stone Island. For sure. 179 <sighs> bucks So Make this sure you guys check dope. these out. These are really dope. All right. All right, so moving right along, man. Fourth up, we got a, another jacket from Unicle. This is kind of like a light. You know, like overshirt jacket right here. Okay, okay. Only 40 bucks. Okay. Oh, okay. Not bad. I see this kind of more of like the perfect indoor jacket. Yes. You want to be able to rock this inside and you won't, you don't feel like you got to take it off. For sure. Like the uh, North Face, you might like feel a little bit too uncomfortable e exactly, and hot. Exactly. But this one's really light, nice jacket and you know, like throw in your backpack it if oh. you need. I think this would pair really nicely with like the cool gray fours. Mmm. So basically, cool it's just, fours, nice light distressed denim. I was going to say navy. nice tones, yeah. nice tones going together. Okay, right here, you know, a little uh, maybe set it off with the red fitted or For something. For sure, yeah. It actually looks stylish too. I mean, it has got the extra pockets uh -huh. on, the, on the top and the bottom. Got the nice little big buttons. I mean, yes, this sir. is a perfect jacket, for like sure. I said, for indoors. 40 bucks, too. You cannot beat that. The cheapest jacket on the entire list. It comes out in an olive, yep. a wash black as well. Uniqlo, man, I feel like Uniqlo might be one of the best brands out there. For sure, especially for things that are more essential. Yeah. You know, things that aren't gonna break your bank, break your wallet. You brought up a really good point on how you could just rock it indoor, um, really comfortable. I like not. that it's not too thick, mm -hmm. but it's functional. Yes, sir. You know, earlier, 
thick, functional, usually goes hand in hand. This time you got a thin item, but pretty fuck functional. Yes, sir. All right, so the Uniqlo overshirt jacket right here, 40 bucks. Not bad Really don't, all. you gotta have this in your wardrobe. Last but not least, man. You know, it's that time of the year. Sherpa jackets, you cannot go wrong. Timeless every single season. I was gonna say, you have to bring up a Sherpa denim jacket when it comes to the winter, man. For sure. We also you know. got a uh, corduroy version right here from Ooh, PacSun. Ooh, I like that. Bucks. I like that. You going with corduroy or you going with uh, denim? Man, I was going to say, usually denim, but the corduroy looking kind of fresh. It is. It because is. Because, think about it. switch up. Everyone's going to have the denim. Mm. You know, you rock into that nice little uh, holiday party with the corduroy. <laughs> oh, it's a little eggnog. <laughs> you, go you like eggnog? I love eggnog. Really? I got excited when you said it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're the type to uh, sip a little eggnog and put a little cinnamon on top. <laughs> That's the, how you gotta do it. <laughs> With a little whipped cream. Wait, wait, you want me to put a little, pour a little gin? Pour a little alcohol, a little cognac in it? Freaky! You try to end the turn, night early. Get the little, you know, a little turnt at the party. I uh, feel, but no, going back to what you were saying though, the corduroy is a nice switch up. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we've been talking about corduroy. We're bringing it up lately. I've seen Kith come out with some fire corduroy oh. stuff. Corduroy, everything. I was gonna say Slippers, corduroy, <laughs> shorts, yo. sweats, even John Elliott. They they came out with the corduroy uh, sweatpants. Yo, don't don't be surprised if you guys see some Richie Lee corduroy for stuff, sure, man. I for sure. like it's, a, it's a very cool, uh, timeless classic fabric. That's not it's not gonna hurt nobody. Yeah, sixty bucks from Pack Sun for not the bad. corduroy jacket. Then you got a classic Levi's. We got what is that right there? This Gap. is more of like a selvage kind of denim, darker, yeah. darker wash. Yeah. You got to have one of these in your closet. Just a denim Sherpa jacket in general, you're saying. Look, man, because you can only really rock it in this season. Yeah, <laughs> only. And this is, should be the go-to jacket for the time. But that's okay because you could literally pull these out every single season. Yo. Timeless. Yo. If this one thing I want to get across when it comes to Sherpa yeah. denim jackets, Timeless. I was just gonna Elmer say. Elmer Fudd. Yeah. Oh, well, he, he, you know, he got swag. If you really think about what? it, he got some swag. He does? I mean, he got the, you know, got the whole lumberjack look, you know? Yeah, yeah, Carrying yeah, around a little shotgun, time. a little rifle. Oh. Come on, man. <laughs> he has the one that cocks. <laughs> Yo. All right, guys. Uh, Levi's, Gap, PacSun, a ton of brands make Sherpa jackets. We'll leave some links down below to ones that we yes, recommend. Sir. There's a lot of good ones out there for affordable prices. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. That pretty much wraps it up for the best jackets for the fall and winter to get right now. What was your favorite? You already know I'm going to have to go with the cheaper alternative to the Stone Island. Oh, yes, sir. I'm just saying because it's so identical. Yeah. You know, because, like, you know, I'm into the whole fabrics mm -hmm. and how it feels and how it looks. And this looks identical to Stone Island. And one thing I just noticed, too, it has a, a uh, removable hood. That's a good feature. Functionality. That's a good feature. And I also like it that it's kind of poofy. Yeah. On the collar. Um, I like the, uh, I would say the Uniqlo overshirt was really cool. 40 bucks, really affordable, you know, yeah. easy to rock. Something you could really wear throughout the whole day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know? All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Let us know down in the comments below what your favorite jacket was. Let us know if there's any other videos like this you would like to see. These are and dope, please man. please make sure you guys hit that like button, all right? Let's get this video to, uh, I say if we get it to uh, 3,500 likes, 3,500 likes, we're doing a crazy giveaway. Okay. And well, it better include a server jacket. For sure. Okay. I mean, the North Face? The North Face one is... I'm surprised you didn't like likes. that one, man. Yeah, I like, I like it. I like it. But you can't beat 40 bucks. That's very true. Yeah. All right, guys. That's pretty much it, though. Make sure you guys check out Tan's IG. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Yes, and sir. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.